talking today about bugle. And you can see here, you probably gathered that this lovely purple flower plant is bugle. And uh, I was walking through the woods through the week as a favorite woodland and I thought, oh wow, look, it's wild bugle. I get very excited when I see plants growing wild and this is a particularly lovely plant, but it's not so well known. And uh, I just wanted to talk to you a bit about this. So I'm in, I'm in the woods and uh, it's quite windy. I'm in Wales and Wales seems to be a very windy place certainly. And uh, I don't think it's as windy as this when I was growing up, but I'm not even on a mountain, but it's really windy all the time. Anyway, Bugle. It's a lovely, lovely plant. And uh, just taking you a bit closer there. Can you imagine if you were an insect, okay, and you're walking through the woodland and you're down here and it's, wow, it's green and you're trying to find your way through. Can you imagine what that would be like? You know, we spend a lot of our time looking down on the plants and, and a lot of the other creatures are looking up at them. And that's quite amazing, isn't it? And when you actually get down here, you start to change your perspective. And it kind of changes your world as well. We spend a lot of time as humans looking down and there's a wonderful phrase that says the only time you should look down on someone is when you're helping them up. I like that phrase, it's nice. And I think the plants remind us to become more ground level, to be closer to the earth. And that's maybe what we all need to be doing right now is being closer to the earth. So I make these videos to educate about the plants, but also to open up new perspectives as well. And maybe we connect with old perspectives. So this plant here, Google. You see that there. You have a long flower spike, okay, and the long flower spike is quite significant of plants which are in the mint family. So bugle is a relative of rosemary, lavender, sage, marjoram, thyme, the more wild plants that we see, because I don't see rosemary or lavender growing in the wild very often, I don't. I do see wild marjoram. But it's a relative of plants like ground ivy, hedge broomwort, south heel, betony. And a lot of those are significant of having a tall flower spike, like this. The flowers, uh, if you can see these here, are lobed. And they are also very significant of plants in the mint family. Even our more common ones like rosemary. So if you look here, you see that, very delicate. And the leaves, kind of round, small, green. There is a, um, a square flower spike, a stem, and plants in the mint family all have this square stem. It's one of the eight ways you can identify them. And the ground here, I don't know if you can see here. It's a flower as well. Yeah, they were. But that's ground ivy and that's growing really happily next to that as well. And it's happy here because it's in the woods. So ground ivy, bugle. And those are both in the mint family. Ground ivy, if you were to rub these leaves, mmm, smells lovely. And that's when we use the culinary herb because you can actually take the leaves, grind them up and use them as a, a flavouring for when you're cooking. Useful to know. A bugle, when you rub these leaves, don't smell. It's a bit like hedge wound or, um, no, hedge wound but does smell. It's self heal. When you rub the leaves of self heal, they have no smell. Self heal is a very, very healing plant from the mint family, very good for the throat um, and expression. So the flowers have been designed to attract the pollinators. They're lobed and they have a sort of like landing track on them. Quite interesting. So Bougaloo might see in garden centres quite a lot and uh, they sell it as ground cover. It's also known as bugle weed. It's a very attractive, attractive plant to have around. Uh, that's why I like to see them in the world because you think, wow, here they are, where they naturally would be. What people don't realize, I suppose, is the fact that this is a medicinal plant. It's been used for a, a long, long time, one of our ancient remedies. And this was used that you could eat it, eat the young uh, plant itself, eat young leaves, but maybe more so for use in a tea. So if you think about a tea, you pick a tea and you pick the flowers, you pick the leaves, like I do with ground ivy quite a bit. Um, except that when I pick ground ivy, it always roots and I don't want to use it because it goes, goes quite well. But you could put this into a tea and you could have that and it would help with regulating hormones, uh, regulating sleep, helping the health of the thyroid, also for digestion uh, and just relaxing. 
calming. Have a nice tea for that. It helps to support the kidneys and the liver. You could also take the plant and you could make an ointment. Look at leaves. That's amazing, isn't it? That's amazing to think there's all these uses for this lovely plant, bugle. But what I love about the mint family as well is the fact that they're so prolific. There's so many plants in this uh, family and they're just around there living happily on the edge of woodlands and in fields and all out there. And nature always teaches us, especially when you're on this ground level, you know? Wow. When you remember life, it's not just about walking and looking down and looking around and it is about looking up, looking down seeing the perspective of everything else that lives on this earth because mother earth is abundant and beautiful and god gave us everything we needed when we came onto this planet we were given everything we needed you know the plants made it breathable for us you know uh the oxygen levels and we have this quite miraculous planet where all that we need for food and medicine is here and getting down and getting in there helps you to realize that it's here it's all here and uh everything you need is within you because you're connected to this great a beautiful presence uh that's running through this fabulous life around us there's a little bee fly behind me how beautiful so just remembering to change perspectives get new perspectives regain all perspectives and remember the healing that's out there constantly and get to know these little ones they're they're wonderful wonderful friends Hope you've enjoyed watching this video. Um, get to know Bugle and uh, get to know all the plants. And please leave me any comments if you fancy. Thank you very much.